Hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a hypothetical fifth dimension and why we wouldn't necessarily be able to see it or sort of interact with it, yet it would still be there. So when I say fifth dimension, we have our three dimensional world and we have the fourth dimension, which is time. Now, these we're familiar with. We know we, we live in the three dimensional world and we can feel the effects of the fourth dimension of time as we move through it. But what about a fifth dimension? or a six or seventh. I'm only going to concentrate on the possible fifth for this video, but it's just like a hypothetical. If there was a fifth dimension, how would we know or why would it be invisible to us? And I think one of the easiest ways to address that is to first have a look backwards before we look forwards. So to explain that, what I mean is if we start with a, a two dimensional world, if you could just imagine a hypothetical two dimensional world. So here we have Mr. and Mrs. Two dimensional and they live within this world and carry on their day. Now, because they're on this flat two-dimensional plane, they are unaware of a third dimension. So we, for example, in the third dimension, we can see their two-dimensional world. We can observe it, but they're completely oblivious to us in this hypothetical situation. So what if I was to interact with this two-dimensional world? Imagine, if you will, if I stuck my finger through the middle of this two-dimensional world, what you would get is Mr. Two-Dimensional here would see something a little bit like this. So what that is, is if I had my finger sticking through there, you'd have like the skin on the outer layer, the sort of reddish kind of color of the flesh, the white bit of the bone and the, the internal of the bone. So you would see a series of circles just suddenly appear. Mr. Two Dimensional, he would just see this strange circle thing just appear out of nowhere. And then if I was to pull my finger back out of it, again, it would just go back to normal. So imagine he's witnessed this and then he goes to see his uh, two dimensional wife here in their two dimensional world. And he says to her, I've just seen the craziest thing. You, you, you probably won't believe me, but this weird circle just appeared out of nowhere in front of me. And it was there for a little while and I could see it clear as day. And then it just just disappeared and went away. Now, imagine that she trusts him and she believes that he's seen what he's seen. So she might say, OK, yeah, I believe you. But how does that that defies our laws of physics? How is that possible? How could such a thing happen? Now, to us, it's very easy. We in the three dimensional world, we can see exactly what happened. We interacted with the two dimensional world by putting our finger in and pulled it out. But to them, just a strange thing appeared and then disappeared, which breaks their laws of physics from what they understand. So let's put that now into our context. So we're in our three dimensions and we have our fourth dimension of time. Could there be a fifth dimension that we just can't see and we can't comprehend, but it can observe and even interact potentially with ours? If it interacted with ours, it would seem to us like something's just appearing maybe moving in a way that doesn't make sense or breaks our understanding of the laws of physics and then disappears. Now, you might be wondering, why on earth am I bringing this up? But I think it's interesting because of the disclosures, the, the recent military disclosures, US Navy and, and the likes that have disclosed about their UFOs where they've seen unidentified objects that they say are real. This isn't just like a crazy conspiracy X-Files thing. They, they're saying this is genuine footage. This is a genuine thing. We don't know what it is and it defies the laws of physics. Now, whether or not we trust what, the, what they're saying when they say they don't know what it is, yeah, that's up for debate. But what they are saying is that these objects move in such a way that seem to break the laws of physics. They seem to be able to accelerate and decelerate and spin and turn in ways that we just don't think is feasible or possible in the three-dimensional world that we understand and the physics that we understand. But if we look at this from the perspective of that example I've just given, it's very simple for us to understand how it would look alien and strange to them, but to us it's very obviously just a simple thing. We just put our finger into their dimension and then pulled it back out. Now, I'm oversimplifying things here, you know, obviously, but that could be a way that there is some kind of fifth dimension that we just don't understand. Now, what that is, it could be wildly up for debate. My personal beliefs is I would think of this fifth dimension as a sort of the spiritual realm, the place where angels and demons can technically interact with our our world and then disappear. And also much in the same way that um, after Jesus' resurrection, he was able to appear in rooms that were locked and then disappear. Sometimes he was there, people recognized him and he disappeared and things like that. Now, that's just my own personal opinion and bias. So I'm not going to talk too much about that. But I'm just trying to highlight here how hypothetically there are these other dimensions that, that would potentially be able to intersect with our dimensions of three dimensions plus time and mightily confuse us with the way that they wouldn't necessarily obey our laws of physics as we understand them. And I just want to point out, this isn't just like some kind of theory of mine. Uh, this is something where scientists themselves are saying that they believe there is actually up to 10 dimensions. As to how they get to the number 10, 
I don't know, I'm just talking about a hypothetical fifth dimension in this particular video. This is just one article. Uh, physicists outline 10 different dimensions and how you'd experience them. And I haven't actually looked at that article itself, but uh, the only reason I brought that up was just to show that I'm aware that there are scientific articles and scientists who have theories about these dimensions. And in particular, I think 10. I'm not entirely sure why they think 10, but hey, I'll go with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm only claiming in this video that there may be a fifth, but yeah, there might be more. So that's it really, just a quick video. I just wanted to sort of share that kind of reversed way of looking at a, like a lesser dimension and then how that can maybe make us comprehend the fact that there could be a fifth dimension, but we just can't observe or, or comprehend or see it in the same way that the two dimensional people couldn't comprehend or see us in the three dimensions, but they could observe if we intersect or uh, interfere with their dimension. Now I have simplified some things because obviously the two dimensional world also would have the fourth dimension of time. So they're just missing the third dimension. So they would be a strange mix of two dimensions plus the fourth dimension and we're three dimensions plus the fourth dimension. I don't know how the rest of it would work if there's five, six, seven, eight, nine dimensions. I have no idea. But I just think it's an interesting subject. And I wonder if you have any thoughts on the matter, please put them in the comments down below. If any of you are physicists and want to educate me on um, why there are believed to be 10 dimensions, go ahead in the comments. I'd love to know. Okay, thanks very much, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.